thanks for staying with us. <laughs> now, a little stress every now and then is not something to be concerned about. Mm. Ongoing mm. chronic um, stress, however, can cause or exacerbate many serious health problems like mental health problems, which includes depression, anxiety, personality disorder, some cardiovascular disease like heart disease, high blood pressure, abnormal heart rhythms, heart attack and stroke. Then you also have obesity and other eating disorder and there's sexual dysfunction as well, such as um, impotency, premature ejaculation in men and loss of sexual desire in both men and women. We also have skin and hair problems such as acne, cirrhosis, eczema and permanent hair loss can also be experienced. That's, this is to mention a few. So today we want to learn how to manage our stress level so we don't, we don't get to this point. Now let us hear what you have to say. Remember you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow or send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 so I'll bring in our guest like in a few minutes, but I just wanted to hear your initial thoughts, um, how you manage um, stress when you're stressed. Because first of all, living in Lagos, Nigeria, mm -hmm. it's already a very high stress <laughs> parameter or whatever would I call it. It is actually very 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 stressful living yes, in Lagos. Yes, especially in these Extremely times. stressful. And with the third mainland bridge closure, it made matters worse. Like you really have What's to... What's the third mainland bridge? Multiple road constructions. Yeah, multiple road constructions, then bad, bad roads, you know, so many things you have to deal with. Uh, you know, like driving on the, on the roads in Lagos, right? You have to think about the hawker on the road. You have to think about the bike man. You have to think about this. You have to think... So you have to think about so many things and you have to keep well, saying... dealing with your issues too it's not easy <laughs> but let me hear your thought um ec let me come to you first you know okay. how do you handle stress i veg out i just i just think about the positives basically mm -hmm. and <laughs> that's the truth i i think about the positives mm -hmm. because there are different times in my life i found myself um mentally how do i call it should i sound stable not in a mad way but i have found myself depressed mm -hmm. so in such a situation and stressed out, I just try to pick the positives from that situation and try to move on from there, mm. basically. Hmm. That's what I do. For me, I sleep. Like, sleeping is a hobby for me. I think I'm at that place where I'm tired of hiding it. I love sleep. Mm. I mean, I do the right thing at the right time and when I'm not doing anything, one of the best things to do is either I'm reading or I'm sleeping because it, I think sleep is a natural healer. Mm. It just takes everything off so it's like you know that kind of sleep like you sleep i wake up and you say good morning a rock band meanwhile it's 8 p.m when i'm dead i don't want to sleep so <laughs> really that's the kind of sleep i need like 10 yeah. hours at a stretch so i clear my mm. schedule mm -hmm. put my phone on silence and i sleep like seven hours at a stretch that's how i do with stress or i just um listen to music um a lot of gospel music and just mm -hmm. take advantage of it to meditate and um when I can afford to, when I have the luxury of it, I go to the beach or go to the cinema and sit down and watch everything showing in the cinemas for that day. Really? Mm. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that, that's what I do. Hey. <laughs> I don't even know what I do I do when I'm stressed. Hmm. I, I know I, it's okay, because I had a very hectic week la last week, mm. I decided, you know what, I'm going to sit it out. I'm going to stay home this week, work from home. And so what I do mainly is, mm. by the time, my normal routine, I still have to wake up at 5 a.m. Mm. So when I wake up at 5 a.m., I will just do a few things, then go back to sleep. So I wake up again, I think about 8, 9, get my, get it ready, get my things ready for the day, mm. ways, yeah. everything and everything, prepare the script and everything, then go back to sleep again. I mm. sleep till like 1 p.m., then I get up again, I have a bath. You know, I don't even remember food. But I also think it's not healthy. It's no, not. I don't remember food as well because, mm. you know, when I'm tired like that, I just want to sleep. I don't even want to eat. So mm. I get my mom constantly calling me and saying, have you eaten? Mm. You know, everybody's checking up on me. Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Because I hardly eat when... I think that's why I'm mm. even losing weight because I've actually... You've been stressed. I've, I've been really stressed. And, you know, and once, I, once I'm stressed out like that, mm. my mm. eating pattern is completely... Dis Irregular. Yeah, distorted. Dis distorted. Yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, so I'm going to bring in our guest now. Joyce Busari is the Managing Director, BU 
Bayou Spa and Health Bistro. That's a healthy restaurant. I mean, you need to check that out. She is a certified esthetician and holistic nutritionist with over 15 years experience in the beauty and wellness industry. Now in 2005, upon completion of the prescribed training in skin care and nutrition, she gained valuable experience while employed by one of the United Kingdom's pioneer in health and beauty um, field. Thank you so much, Joyce, for joining us. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here or on. <laughs> <laughs> so we are we are happy that you are you know having this conversation with us, and um, we want to know like first of all, um, is stress really manageable? I mean, is this something that you can actually live your life stress free? Is 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 it a possibility? Um, yes, it's a manageable. I would say it's, it's manageable because. Um, it's your response to it that actually matters. Um, we're all stressed. As you all know, uh, Lagos especially is a very stressful um, community. I mean, driving, uh, people, you know, so it's a very stressful uh, community. So it depends on how you um, respond to the stressful situation. You know, some people, because you know, um, sometimes there are some things that you do that you can't, there are some things that, that comes that you can't really, really um, manage. Yeah. You know, so, yeah. So when, when you're stressed, it depends on your response to the stressful situation. So some people will let, you know, no, they know they don't have control over the stress, stressful situation. So they just let it be. So it depends on your, um, you know, response to it. I, and so what, what causes the, I mean, so what would determine that response, you know, because we, you are not in the psychological field, you are just a nutritionist and um, what's it called, you're also an esthetician. So it, I mean, there's a lot of work I think that you people would do that would get me out of that stress that I don't have to end up in a, a psychologist or with a, what's it called, a mental health doctor or something. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm saying. That like, so what, what are the things that I need to put in place for me to, I mean, not to even get to that point? If I'm stressed, you know, and I come to you, how do I even manage that? Okay, so if one, one, well, one of the things I normally tell people that come to us, obviously most people, when they come to us, they tell us, oh, I'm having back pain, you know, I'm having a lot of headaches, and those are one of the symptoms of being stressed. And so when you take out time, you know, out of your schedule, the busy schedule, I think if it's, a, if it's one hour, you know, the whole week, you take out one hour and come into the spa or wherever it is that you go to and just relax and get like a massage. That <laughs> actually is really, really uh, a relaxing um, thing that everyone should, you know, um, indulge in. So it's now it's been, how will I say it now? I'll say that um, coming into the spa, it's not really um, a luxury anymore. It's mm -hmm. more of uh, a necessity because of where we are or, or the, uh, uh, the kind of uh, community that we're in. So taking out time, it's really, really important for us to be able to manage the stressful situation that is all around us. Okay. Um, hi, Joyce. <laughs> hi. I will speak for the masses. <laughs> so um, you talked about um, the spa and you talked about it not being a luxury anymore for individuals. But there, are, there is the Mama Basira, Mama uh, Busau, that, that doesn't mm -hmm. even want to go to the spa because she feels that it's so expensive. Because sometimes when you mm -hmm. go to the spa, you get to pay as much and as high as uh, 15,000 naira for massage and all that. So what's your take on how to get them to, you know, do one or two exercises to keep them, you know, in shape? Okay, so um, with exercise, obviously exercise um, produces a hormone called endorphins. And endorphins is a feel-good hormone. So if you can't make it to the um, to the spa, exercise is actually a very good stress reliever. So if you can't make it to the spa, then try and indulge. Even, even if it's 30 minutes a day, it doesn't have to be um, strenuous exercise. It can be walking. It can be anything that you really enjoy doing. You know, Those are the things that you indulge to be able to plug away from the stressful situation. Okay. Right. So I know that um, in your spa, obviously, you've come across um, a lot of 
people who are stressed and um, sort of try to find their way around or thereabouts. And obviously, you would have a conversation because talking helps to relieve stress. So from your experience uh, running your spa, what are the predominant signs you've heard from people that shows that you know they are stressed? OK, so as I said earlier on, we have people coming in who have back, back pains. Um, they have like um, headaches. They are, and another another symptom of stress is uh, you know gaining weight as well, mm -hmm. especially around the middle uh, part of the body. So sometimes you see a lot of people gain weight, especially in the middle, <laughs> the middle part of their body, and that is one of the symptoms of um, you know stress as well. So when they come in, obviously we sit down, we do a consultation, and then we now determine the things that would that they enjoy doing. You know, there are so many things that one can do from, as you said, Sansa, you said something about going to the cinema, you know, just being by yourself, going to the cinema, you know, anything that you enjoy doing, just pick out, just take out time in the week and just do those things that you love doing. They really do help to lower the stress level. Okay, as a, okay. Joyce, you know, you are looking so very like, oh, relaxed and stress-free <laughs> and all of that. You know, so um, I don't know. Um, we do all of those things here. Yeah. We go to the spa, mm -hmm. we get the massage and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, what is the role of our diet in terms of keeping us, you know, in a very healthy place, you know, that keeps us, are there kinds of diet, the kinds of food that we eat, you know, that helps, you know, keep us clean, free from stress? Is it, I mean, because you are also a nutritionist. I also want us to have that holistic conversation. Yeah, um, when it comes to um, nutrition, nutrition actually plays a very important role. So you've all heard the saying that you are what you eat. And it's really, really, uh, when you go deep down into that um, saying, whatever you eat, it actually makes up the cells that your, your body builds. So like your skin, your skin cells, your liver, everything. So it's what you put in your body that actually determines what um, your cells are going to be made out of. So um, nutrition really, really plays an important uh, role. And um, when we are stressed, we kind of, I, I believe that people crave uh, like junk food. That's true. Um, hmm. And the reason why we crave junk food is because we're trying to um, comfort ourselves. You know, so like John food is like a comforter. Mm -hmm. So the, the thing about it is that we try as much as possible to avoid those junk food because those junk food lead us to more stress, which now goes into a round, you know, starts going, it's a vicious circle that keeps mm -hmm. going round and round. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you're getting deeper into, you know, weight gain, into body pains and stuff like that. Okay, okay so um, you talked about junk food. What about those that are interested in alcohol and they would rather take alcohol to ease their stress? So what would you, what would be your advice to such people? Take from wine. Okay, so um, with alcohol, obviously we know that alcohol is, um, when it goes into your body, it's just sugar. Even though it may not be sweet, but that's how your body sees it when it gets into your body. And sugar is is stressor because when you take sugar your body is, you, your body now starts um, you know um, starts pumping out insulin to try and bring down the sugar level and that is a stressor for the body as well so for those that like alcohol i would say you have to there's no no two ways about it you just have to stop taking it if you want to you know um, deal with the stressful situation or deal with the stressful environment that we're in some people, okay. <laughs> well, uh, you can ask your follow-up question. Okay. <laughs> Some people actually say that um, alcohol is, um, it actually helps them to ease that stress. Hey, hey. No, let me, let me land. The alcohol actually helps them to ease that stress, especially in today's world or in today's Lagos, where individuals are looking for ways to, you know, ease out their pain. So if you might advise them, can you tell them to abstain totally? Or would you rather tell them, okay, take a little bit of quantity and let the rest go? 
Perfect. She, she didn't you. want Joyce. She's just trying to find a way to make no. sure that the alcohol is not taken away from the routine. <laughs> no. Let me tell her. I'm helping. No, but I'm it's help, not just... I'm, I told you when I started, I said I'm speaking for, for the, the masses. masses. And, but honestly, so, wait, you know what? Let me help you. Um, yes. You see, honestly, um, mm. Joyce, what she said is 100% true. Mm. I remember we took a story sometime last... Um, within the, the year, I think maybe two or three months ago, where Navdak is saying they want to ban those sachet, um, what's it called? Um, um, drinks, so. drinks, those yes. sachet drinks that they, and you know, you mm -hmm. see a lot of bus drivers, a lot of us, mm. you know, they consume this thing. I mean, you see it in mm. droves. The, 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 the sachet... Um, littered empty, all over the room. The all empty the sachet place. littered all over the place. So people just naturally believe... Okay, mm. that's true, actually. It's a very intro, mm. important matter. Just yes. like I, was, I was looking at her. But people naturally believe that alcohol is something that is just the best way to just, you know, take your mind off, off of it, stress. Off and I think stress. it's, you know, it's a misconception, you know. So maybe you should help. <laughs> Okay, so as I said before, alcohol is um, is a stressor because of what it does in your body. Mm -hmm. Not only is it try, are you pumping out more insulin to bring out the sugar mm -hmm. level, you know, you're also putting stress on your liver, your kidneys, you know. So the 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 after effects, you you might feel good for that time that you're taking it, but it has a side effect which will not show now but later on it'll start telling on your body you know so Very true people that you can well how will i put it i would i, I wouldn't say i would you can take alcohol maybe a glass of wine but truly <laughs> can you stick to just a glass of wine red <laughs> <You> wine <know? laughs> Red wine is yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the bus conductor doesn't have time for red wine. <laughs> hey, Joyce, you see that you have asked, you, you, you've said what she wanted to hear. <laughs> Go ahead, sorry. Okay. Right, so I'm going back to nutrition. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm curious, are there, uh, I understand that nutrition helps to, you know, relieve stress and helps the cells to build better such that stress doesn't take a huge toll on you. Mm -hmm. But I'm curious, are there certain foods in particular that their major job is to relieve stress? For instance, I know for me, when I'm stressed and maybe I just want to sleep or just sit down and think without worrying too much, I take chamomile tea and it really works wonders. It calms my nerves. So are there other foods in that category that you know helps with stress management? Okay, so chamomile tea is one which you just um, said. It's a very, it's a relaxant. I mean, I'm sure you know. I take it every it's, it really relaxes you, and then you get better sleep when you take chamomile. There's the lavender tea as well. Um, there's lemon balm, and there are some foods um, and nuts that contain magnesium. So we have things like banana. We have Brazilian nuts, which contains um, magnesium, which actually helps, you know, to promote that uh, hormone that makes us relax. Okay, so Joyce, you're looking so relaxed. <laughs> you know, the way you're even asking the question with so much calm. I wish I can be like you. Some of us were hyper. Mm. <laughs> you know what? But we're going to go on a very short break. When we return, we'll now break it down. So you tell us, people like us that are hyper, like Uwa. Let me not even call them. Why is hyper? I'm you know, hyper. you tell me how to relieve myself of stress. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> 